I'm Dr. Christina Kilgrove. I'm an assistant professor of biological anthropology at the University of West Florida. Biological anthropology is the study of humans from our origin to present day humans and everything in between. I use 3D printing in osteology, in teaching my osteology class, because I can print out different models of bones that I don't necessarily have access to here in the US. So pathological bones, such as bones from individuals who have leprosy, I can download models and print them out. And I can download models from a website called Thingiverse, where other people have scanned or created models, and I can print those out and use them in my classes as well. A 3D printer is similar to a printer that you might have in your house in that it spits something out. Um, but rather than spitting out ink onto a page, it spits out plastic um, in three dimensions rather than two dimensions. Ink would be on a page in two dimensions. And the plastic has both an X and a Y, so it's sort of laying down one layer at a time, building up a 3D model, the, the Z axis or the, the three dimensionality of it. The students are very excited about the possibilities of 3D printing. Uh, I had them come and uh, look at some digital models, uh, as well as the printed models and the actual bones that those models were based on. They were very impressed that the printed models were very similar to the actual bones. We're going to be using the uh, printed models uh, and looking at 3D printing again in lab this semester in my human osteology class, and they're very excited about that. 3D printing in anthropology, especially in bioarchaeology and archaeology, is a fairly new trend, um, but it's definitely growing. I've been talking to colleagues at Virginia Commonwealth University, where they're doing a lot of 3D scanning and printing. Um, colleagues at other universities around the country have been asking me for advice on which printers to get and which kind of filament and how best to do things like scanning and printing. Bioarchaeologists at um, Appalachian State University um, currently have digitized a whole bunch of uh, fetal remains um, from a child or from a fetus um, and have made those available for people to print. So it's definitely a, a growing trend in bioarchaeology especially. Various industries are using 3D printing. Um, uh, people are 3D printing chocolate models uh, for things like wedding cakes, for example. You could get your head 3D printed, you can get your head scanned and 3D printed, which is kind of cool. Um, in the medical sciences, they are 3D printing organs and ears and all kinds of things like that. So I think it's uh, the day is coming where we might be able to print actual bones rather than plastic replicas of bones, and that would be really, really cool. <laughs>